I'm going to show you how to perfect your eyeshadow application. I'm going to show you a simpler version of this. It's going to suit every eye shape. Grab yourself an eyeshadow palette that has quite a few mattes in here. Who remembers this soft glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills? <laughs> At the moment, all I have on my eyes is a bit of concealer and it's powdered. I want to build depth on the outer corners, so I'm going to start off with this creamy jumbo eye pencil from NYX. And I'm just going to draw like almost like a, a V shape on the outer corners. Whenever you're blending out cream products, always use a synthetic brush because it will just buff out a lot nicer. So now I've got a base for the dark eyeshadow that I'm going to apply next. It's a very similar concept to, you know when you use like a cream bronzer and then you put a powdered bronzer on top? It's just going to amplify it so much more. Next I'm going to go in with this shade here called Rustic. It's like a good mid-tone brown. And I'm just going to basically set that darker base eyeshadow. And you want to press on that pigment. If you swipe too much, you'll get fallout. Don't worry about harsh lines yet, you just want to build that pigment so it's nice and deep. Okay, I look a bit crazy right now, but here is where the magic happens. The blending. You need to make sure you use a separate clean eyeshadow brush to blend out your eyeshadow. If you use the same brush that you applied on the eyeshadow with, it's going to look hella muddy. I'm going in with orange soda. This shade is very similar to my skin tone, but it's a little bit deeper. And I'm just going to go and buff around the edges of that dark eyeshadow. You want to slowly diffuse that dark line so it has a really nice gradient between the dark shade, a mid-tone shade, and then back to your skin. You don't want it to look, you know, harsh. If in doubt, blend it out. Keep switching back and forth between that deep eyeshadow and that mid-tone shadow to blend out. And that just creates that oomph, you know, almost like it's airbrushed. Okay, so now on the eyelid, you can literally put on any colour you want. You can use a shimmer. I'm going to go for a matte today called a Tempura. It's kind of like a light matte. And I'm just going to pat this on with a flat blending brush. Okay, so now that this matte shade is on my lid, we need to blend out this harsh line here. We don't want no harsh lines, girl. Only if we're doing a cut crease. I'm going to grab this shade here called Burnt Orange. And then I'm just going to diffuse these two shades together here. Oh, it's coming together, guys. It looks like a nice ombre. For the bottom lash line, I'm literally going to do the same concept. I'm using that rustic shade. And now I'm using a very short, stumpy brush. And I'm just blending this on the outer corners. And then when I have less of my brush, I slowly bring it in. Next, I'm going to use a flat angled brush and just grab a bit of black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to do a light smoky liner. Let me know if you want a full tutorial on this. I just applied on mascara and I'm going to finish this look off with these lashes from Gary the Plastic Boy and Isla in this style called Pearl. Did someone say drama? This eyeshadow technique is literally my go-to. Whenever I'm in doubt, I don't know what I'm wearing yet, I just go for this makeup look. It suits every single kind of outfit, all eye shapes, and it just goes with everything. Follow for more tips. <laughs>